In the general public, we use trusted friends, media outlets, and Wikipedia as trusted sources of information. In academia, these aren't considered viable, and students, faculty, and other academic researchers head to journals and textbooks to gather, cite, and learn new information. Peer-reviewed sources cost money to write, and academics must sometimes pay for access to them. Unfortunately, due to the exorbitant cost of editing, reviewing, and marketing textbooks, these holistic sources of knowledge are locked away behind a price that students simply can't afford. The introduction of ebooks, piracy, and laptops in college classrooms has provided an opportunity to design a more accessible textbook business model. Our group at the University of Washington conducted interviews with students, faculty, and college bookstore administrators to form user-centered recommendations for designers working on this problem. These are our findings. Current digital technologies can provide the same information without the overhead needed to distribute it. Despite their increased ability to find information quickly, students still value the physical affordances that are lacking in a digital learning environment. Therefore, new technologies should provide physical gestures and access to multiple pages at once to enable similar learning capabilities that physical books provide. Unlike most industries, the need of the product is not set by the end consumer. To make sure that publishers don't take advantage of this model, bookstores push back on the faculty and publishing industry to ensure that students are provided with the right information at a fair price. Therefore, designers of tomorrow's textbook model should work with the bookstore rather than directly with publishers to protect student interests while still maintaining access to information that currently only the publisher can provide. Finally, publishers should be provided with a method of ebook distribution that protects their intellectual property. This same method of distribution should also be available for students and faculty to upload their own work. This way, the end users of the information can explore and create alternatives to products of the textbook industry. The need for an all-powerful textbook industry will be minimized as consumers of academic information verify knowledge together through independent peer review. Our recommendations seek to enable access to verified information and hopefully set it free from the costly overhead of today's textbook review process.